Hello everyone and welcome back to part 4 of the mech design series. Today we are going to design the arms but before that we get into that I just want to say that Denmark has now officially begun its part 2 lockdown. Yes I am once again in lockdown which means that I can produce videos much much faster so make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos but without further ado let's get into it. So we are going to start out by designing the shoulders then slowly working our way down to the forearm and all that other stuff. Another thing, a lot of you have asked me when this robot is going to be out on the workshop and the answer is very very simple. It's going to be out when it's ready, when this pimp my mech um, series is over and then I'm going to release it as soon as possible. And also, if you have seen my reveal trailer, I am not only going to release this mech, but I'm also going to release two rovers, one tank and one mobile base-ish. And then later, I'm going to release another rover that is focused on having like trailers so that you can switch a trailer depending on what you need it for. Let's say you need it for passengers or you need it for vehicle cargo and it needs it for something else. So I will be like multiple trailers and you can just use the one that you need for this specific purpose. Also, as you can see when I'm building this shoulder, I'm not I'm not changing the shape too much because I need to make sure that the rotors and everything else still works the way that it's supposed to. So I cannot change its shape, but I can just change the details and like which blocks are used. Another question that I've gotten is when I will color this mech. And I usually color my builds and creations at the end, like when I've fully finished the shape and the details. And so will I do with this. So I'll color it in the last part of this design series. So we are now done with the shoulder and let's move down into the arms. I am pretty satisfied with the shoulder. I think it looks pretty damn good and I'm excited to see it when it's fully, fully done. Also, as I said in the very first part of this design series, these legs along with the arms that we are building here are on rotors and therefore the symmetry mode will not work. So, of course, I will have to build these arms the exact same way on the other side and you do not want to see the same thing twice. So I'm just going to, to do that off cam so I spare you guys the time. Right here, I'm trying to build some like shield-ish uh, armor on his arms. I think it will look pretty cool and also have like some purpose compared to just the looks. So that's pretty cool. Also, this black thing right here is what makes the arm able to turn. And we have to be very careful not to place uh, like two white blocks or something that will block its ability to turn. Um, so we're going to have to build this with very much care. And as you can see, we have now reached the forearm. I would assume that this is the forearm. <laughs> uh, 
and we're almost done actually it's rather quick this episode so down here i'm going to aim for a lot of wheels yet for it to look good because wheels are very very good at absorbing damage so if we're going to punch something which we most likely are these wheels will help a lot So here at the hand, I kind of want to play some more drills, so that we have some more punching power. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also going to replace a few wheels with some blast door, because uh, they look cool. And um, yeah, that will be the last thing that we have to do today. So that was it for part 4 of the Mag Science series. We just finished the arms. We have also finished the legs, the torso. So that means we actually only miss the head, which is going to be the next video. I kind of feel like that's going to be the most challenging thing, as I have literally no clue of what to make with a head. Uh, but that's going to be interesting. I hope I'll see you there. Make sure to subscribe so you do not miss an upload. Uh, but stay safe during these corona times and I'll see you later hopefully. Goodbye.